Hey, it's Mac with PriceActionTradingSystem.com, and it's Thursday. It is August 11th. This will be our chart lesson for the day. Um, it's Thursday, so this is going to wrap our week up for chart lessons. Um, so no chart lesson on Fridays. Interesting day. Still not a lot of, I mean, it's all uphill today, but really from 10 o'clock on, it's just flat. And you can see that we were really within a two or three point range. And you had a little breakout here and a little breakout here. And that was really it. Um, early on, there was a two tier channel working higher. It was a little bit steep. And notice we had a break, and it turns out then there's a flatter two-tiered channel. Generally, a healthy trend is about a 45-degree angle. And when they're steep like this, they usually don't last. They'll, you might get a, what will happen, a lot of times you'll get a break, and instead of a reversal, you just get this correction, and then you'll fall off into a um, more of a 45-degree angle trend line. So... Um, yeah, uh, mostly all uphill, but really from 10 o'clock on, uh, I'd call this flat. You might have, you might say from, what time is that? I don't know if that's quite 10 o'clock. Ten thirty-five. So from that point on, we were just in a trading range. So uh, again, not a whole lot of trades. You had to kind of be patient. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, back out, talk about the trades and we'll go from there. Let me back out a little bit. All right. When I came in, we were working up, um, we had one leg up, pull back, and then we were working on a second leg up. And of course we found a little resistance here at the previous high. Uh, but notice this doesn't pull back very steeply, just to the EMA, and then it kind of bounces. Um, this is a second entry long. Here's your high pullback first entry, pullback second entry. Really, you could count this as a second entry uh, as well here. But this is still, uh, on this chart, still one move. So um, this is really a second entry. There's not a break of this trend line and a new low yet, though. Uh, but you got a lot of support right across there, and then the EMA, and that's a fairly bullish type reversal bar after a big bearish bar. So there is enough room to get out, uh, but I marked it green just because there's no break of that trend line right there. It's a little bit aggressive. Um, I will tell you, I took that trade though, but I, you know, I still got to call it aggressive. Uh, so. And on this first leg, you should have measured this and been looking for a measured leg there. Notice we just couldn't get through there. We never could get it. Um, so, but anyway, this one takes off. It pulls back right here, and but there's not enough room to get out. More of a neutral bar as well. Notice it doesn't go very far, and then it pulls back. And um, it really gives you, actually, let me back up a little bit. You really, if this would have pulled back further, I would have marked this as a blue trade. I didn't even mark it green because it's so close to that high. Uh, but notice that uh, you got a low right here. So there's a first entry, and that's a failed second entry short right there on the bigger picture here. And like I said, if it would have pulled back a little further, I would have liked that trade. But the fact that it only pulled back about three ticks, I don't think you can risk it. Um, it would have still worked, but I'm not even going to give it a green one. I think it's too risky. I think you're better off to wait on this one uh, because now you get the uh, double touch here and it's bouncing off the EMA again. Again, it's a little bit risky because there's a trend line and there's no break, but it looks a whole lot like this setup right here. Uh, it's pretty close to a repeat pattern. Um, so if you want to be aggressive, you could take it. The only stipulation is you got to have room to scalp out before that high because notice what happens. It moves up there, makes a double top. And so you had to, I think if you entered with a stop on my chart, you wouldn't have had enough room. You would have had to get in a tick back. And uh, of course, it would have come back here and filled you. But so if you did, 
but it also probably would have stopped you out right here because it went one tick lower. So um, when this one bounced off the trend line and it's a double test of that level, uh, I like this one and it gives you enough room to get out. Of course, it actually goes an extra tick there. And then it turns down and notice that that's your, that's a double test of this high. So um, if it wasn't for this trend line working up, I'd mark that blue, but there's uh, because of the trend line uh, working up with no break yet, I was hesitant to, to go uh, short right there. So, but there are, it does meet the double test rule. Uh, this is obviously a range now. We've bounced three times. This was the third time here. So the double test rule, you had a double test rule here, here. So um, if it weren't for the trend line not having been broke, I'd make that one blue. But I just don't think you can. And notice what happens here. You bounce again. Uh, but that's the first close outside this trend line. Uh, you don't want to go long. But um, I think you want to wait on a higher or, a, you know, I think you want to wait and let it test it again and get a good signal bar, and it does here. So it's tempting to go along there, but it just starts running sideways. And notice there's one, two, three, four, five bars. Uh, stems on both sides, doji. I don't, you don't want to do anything there. Uh, just see what happens. And when it breaks higher and fails that quickly and turns down, that's a long trap because that's a second entry long. Notice that's a new high pullback, first entry, pullback, second entry. But that's why you got to be careful. Look how flat that EMA is. Look how we're going sideways. That's too risky to go long right there. Uh, so just sit tight. And when it goes long and fails, I put me a stop. And it turned down and went straight out the others. And you can see how they trapped people. Look how it rockets down. And it went higher first and then turned and went out the other side. So, uh I know it's right into that support, but look at that high. This one's lower, and then this one's even lower than that one. And you have the trap, so just take it. Um, it does pull back here and give you um, another push higher. That's a fairly bearish bar. It's not. It didn't close on its low, but. Um, what I think, what I would like, recommend if you wanted to enter that one, is wait for this one to break lower, and then drop a limit order back here where you get a real low risk entry in case you're wrong. Um, but it ends up moving on down, and at this time, at this point, it really was looking like a trading range, and um, so I'm looking forward to test this low, maybe this low. Of course, it turns out it's a channel here. And you probably should have drawn this. Actually, I originally drew it a little steeper, but I adjusted it when it bounced here. Um, and you can't take this short because there's a possible trend line here. But um, also, you're right into that low. It's first entry. Just a lot of reasons not to take it. But when we start working higher here, I like this one. And um, this is a higher low with a big bullish bar. Um, I like letting that break higher and maybe use a limit order right at the high. You could have used a stop there as well because yeah, prices are probably going to come back. Notice how we never got back to test this breakout area. Even if we're going lower, we're probably going to come back and test that. Uh, so I like that one. And then we get a failed second entry short here. That's your, look how we push on through. You got basically two measured legs up and then it ticks back and, it's, and it ends up closing inside. Back inside the range, and it's, it just takes on off this time. Uh, we do have what looks like a close outside here, but we got an overshoot here either way, and then we're working lower. You get a break and a move to a new low. Uh, you, you don't want to be entering up in here. Um, there's really not any decent setups. This one is very tempting because it's a little ways away from the EMA, and we've been away since a little after 9, and it's almost 10. But we weren't up, we weren't back to the upper side here. So that leads me to believe that we may try to test that high again. And um, so just kind of sit tight and see what happens. And then you make a little double bottom, and that's really testing this level twice. But, and it is a nice signal bar, but we still don't have a new low. So it's a little bit risky, but there's some reasons to take that one if you want to be aggressive. 
but when it pushes on through, pulls back, and gives you a failed second entry short, go long right there. And you can see it rockets on up again. And then we just start going sideways. And this right here is just too tight. There's nothing. There's, you know, you just don't want to enter that. Um, but notice we make that low and a double test, and you get a big bullish bar. Well, you got enough room to get out, so I kind of like that one. Um, you do get a short off the high here, but you don't get a very good signal bar. Uh, and everything is still up at this point, so we may make another leg like this, so you have to just kind of wait and see. Um, and then it comes back and gives you another double test. Um, there's a trend line working right down there. We never really get a close outside again, though. But it's kind of a repeat pattern from back over here again. Um, so I kind of like that one again. Uh, I did make that one blue just simply because this range is obvious at this point, And we tested it twice there. We even broke a little lower than that and turned back up. So I like going along there. Just looking for it to go to the other side. Um, we're working up. You get a little close outside here. This one was kind of questionable. But it pushes up and you get a failed breakout either way. Um, and that's a fairly bearish bar, but it, it's not a perfect bar. And it's not real clear if we closed outside here. It's so close. It looks like it to me. But I think you're better off to wait on a lower high and see if you get another shot at it, which you get here. But there's still some reasons to take that one. Because this is a clear range and it's been going on all afternoon. So, um, And this is a lower high than that one. So uh, this is the this is the one to wait on. Uh, this one's just kind of iffy. And this is a failed second entry long, but by the time you get a chance to enter, um, actually there's a failed second entry long right there. And so it's kind of a reversal pattern. But by that time, this line had moved up to right here. And uh, see how we got all the closes and touches right there. And we just don't have enough much room to get out right there. So I was hesitant of that one. Um, and you would have got stopped out as well. So um, there's some reasons to argue for that one. So if you took it and once you, this one closes a doji and then this one started doing the same thing, I would have exited, to be honest with you. Um, but the trend is down. So, you know, as soon as you exit, uh, your stop still has to go right here, really. Um, but whether or not I let it stop me out there and then turn down, I just don't know if I would have waited on that. This is so late in the afternoon. Uh, but we do get a breakout, and then we turn down. But now we're right back into the support. I don't think you want to go short in there. And now you get a failed break on the other side. So you're probably going to snap back and test the EMA again. Uh, but again, it's so late in the day. And I just think you're better off to skip it, but there's reasons to argue for it, so I did mark it green. But, um, yeah, this this was the only really tricky spot, in my opinion. This one was a little tricky because generally these failed second entry longs are great trades. The only problem is, is do you have enough room to get out before here? Uh, that's what would have kept me out of that one. But didn't it fails. But because of the trend line go, coming down, I don't think I would take that long either. And you would have just gotten burned both ways. And that's what happens a lot of times when you're going sideways. Really, your best bet is to only enter very close to this line or very close to the low line. When you try to start entering halfway, that's when you get that's when you get zapped sometimes. So just keep that in mind. It's always what you want to do is enter real close to the highs of the range and real close to the lows of the range. And if you're somewhere in between, it's always questionable. So you can see that's a perfect example right there of what will happen to you. So, um, and this this was just a failed break lower while these two were just failed breaks, high, failed breaks higher. And this, this is a little trend channel working down. You get a break moved to a new low, and then it reversed. So it still played out. That's another reason I like that one. But it's so late in the day, and it's not a perfect signal bar, so I did make it green. But really, that's what we're looking at for today. Just an upward channel, but really for all intents and purposes, most of the day was in this little tight range. 
notice we got another failed break out here and it turned down then you get another one here and it turns back up so I like those ranges I, I prefer that they're bigger where there's where any kind of good signal bar at the edge is you got enough room but in this tight one you know you want a little bar you want to be able to get in real close to this line and real close to this line short real close to this line long so I hope that's clear um yeah, not much else we can say about today. So, actually, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. Um, this was like a repeat pattern back down here earlier in the morning. Right here. That was another reason I didn't like this uh, long here. Um, and that's another reason, though, you might have taken this short, uh, simply because notice we have one right here, and I did mark that one. But um, so that might have been another reason to want to take that one, if you noticed it, um, because we had a, it's a little bit different, but it's similar. This one's working more down, so this one is at where this one's working more sideways, so. Um, yeah, so you might have gotten tripped up there. If you did, because of that repeat pattern, that would have been enough reason to reverse right here, though, because it looks just like that. So that would have been enough reason to go short the next go round. The this one's a little bit different, and actually, it actually would have went higher. Where even if you entered short on this one, it never went higher. So it, it's a little bit different. But it's very similar, uh, although we were still in a trend here, um, where we weren't where we weren't in a trend here. We were just going sideways. So it's a little di they're a little different, but they're very close. And I meant to talk about that earlier, but I forgot about it. So uh, yeah, but I'm gonna wrap it up. We'll be back again to do it Monday. I hope everyone has a good trading day tomorrow, and uh, we'll see you next time. This is Matt with PriceActionTradingSystem.com. And we'll see you next time.